Hi everyone, it's Laura here and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to create a cute card using stamps by LDRS Creative. I started off my card by preparing my base. I have some black cardstock that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I have a second panel here that I'm going to die cut with the Scallop Retango Frames dies by LDRS Creative. I'm securing the die to my cardstock with some washi tape and then I can run it through my die cutting machine. There is this nice lace pattern on the edges of the die cut and I'm going to use a needle basically to poke out all those little die cut pieces that stayed inside my main rectangle. Next, I die cut a window in that scalloped rectangle panel using another die by LDRS Creative. This is called Garden Gateway and I think it's really, really beautiful. You will see it will help me create a scene very quickly. The set comes with the die you see on screen. This again will cut out a window with a very nice garden scene. And it also comes with a square die that is just slightly larger than the scene so that you can also create a panel that you can adhere on top of a card rather than creating a window like I'm doing now. Again, I secured my die in place with some washi tape and I ran it through my die cutting machine. And here is the review of that fun design. For today, what I did is I used some black cardstock to create this kind of silhouette effect. But something that I definitely want to try is to die cut this out of some white cardstock instead and color the scene with my alcohol markers. I think it will be absolutely stunning. Again, I'm removing all those smaller die cut pieces and putting them inside a bowl that I have on my desk so that I keep my crafty area nice and clean. And then I can move on and start creating an ink blended panel that I will use to back that garden scene that I have on the black cardstock. I'm going to use some shades of green and purple to create kind of a spooky sky because my idea was to create a Halloween card since I'll be sharing this video on Halloween day. And by the way, you guys, let me know what plans you have for Halloween if you are doing anything special at all or if it's going to be just another evening, hopefully nice and cozy for you guys. That's my plan anyway. I did say that this will be a Halloween card, but as you saw from the pictures at the beginning of the video, and as you will see later on, I didn't use a Halloween sentiment actually. And this is because I wanted to show you that this design can be used for a nice fall themed friendship card, for example, because Halloween season is gone for this year, but I wanted to share some inspiration with you that would still be usable in the next weeks and months. Once I was done ink blending my background, I used some mica powders to create my shining stars. I diluted them with water, I then picked the water and mica powder mix with a paintbrush and I flicked the paintbrush over the entire background to create these stars. And because of these mica powders that I'm using right now, the stars will be sparkly and will add a nice touch to my card. I put my panel aside to dry and then I moved on and started working on my images. These come from the A View for Four Seasons stamp set. This is a really great set and as the name says, it can be used all year round. It features this large window with the curtains and the shutters too. And then you have a number of smaller images that you can use throughout the year. So you have some pumpkins for fall, you have some flowers for spring, you have some mistletoe for winter and so on. So this is a really versatile set, which I think is really cute. And I can't wait to use more, surely for some Christmas cards in the coming videos. For this card here, I used the images of the kittens and the pumpkins, which I stamped on Nina Solar White 110 pounds cardstock using my LDRS Creative Hybrid Ink in the color Raven. This is a nice and black ink that because of its hybrid formulation can be used with alcohol-based media and with water-based media. 
And for today, I decided to use my alcohol markers that if you follow me by now, you'll probably have realized are my go-to coloring medium. I colored all the kittens using some warm gray markers cause I wanted them to look either like black cats or dark gray cats. For the first one, I used BG8, BG4 and BG6. And for these other two that I'm coloring right now, I used BG6, BG4 and BG2. So they will be a little bit lighter. And then to add a little bit of character, I added stripes to one and dots to the other. For the pumpkins, I also did some very quick coloring using my TN7, BO3 and BO1 markers. I initially went in with the TN5 for my shadows, but it was a little bit too light. So I decided to intensify the shadows and add a TN7 marker. For the green bits at the top of the pumpkins and the leaves, I used some yellow greens. And then once I was done with the coloring, that took very little time because these images are quite tiny, I went ahead and I die cut everything with the coordinating dies to the A View for Four Seasons stamp set. I secured them with washi tape to my images so that they wouldn't shift while I was die cutting them and then ran everything to my die cutting machine. And at this point, I had almost everything ready and I could go ahead and start assembling everything and create my little scene. I first adhered the silhouette panel to that ink blended background and then I glued down the images around the garden fence using some liquid glue. I created sort of a visual triangle with that cat that's facing towards the sky and then the other two that are facing us that are sort of clustering around the pumpkins. Next, it was time to think about a sentiment and as I said, I decided to go for a generic hello greeting so that this card can be used at any time throughout the year and not just for Halloween, but by switching it up with a Halloween themed sentiment, this would be a great Halloween card too. I stamped it with white pigment ink by LDRS Creative and the stamp set that I took the sentiment from is called Beautiful Blooms. I am pretty sure this was the first time that I used this ink pad to stamp a sentiment on white cardstock and I have to say that I was pretty impressed with the coverage. You can see that it shows up really nicely against that black background and the finish in real life is really pretty. It's almost chalky I would say and it was just great on this card, I really loved the look. Because I liked it so much, I decided to use it also on my black panels. So you saw on the base one, I basically swiped the ink pad across the sides of the panel so that I would create this kind of textured look. And then I also decided to use a foam blender to blend it on the sides of my focal panel to get a little bit more of a cohesive look on my design. And I have to say that I really love the way this card turned out. It was super quick to make and I think it's really pretty, especially because of that die that I used, the Garden Gateway one. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, all that was left to do was to adhere the focal panel on the background and then to mount everything on a top folding A2 card base that I cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half inches. And that finished off my card for today. Here you can see the final result with those cute kitties and the shining stars in the background. I'm really happy about the way this card turned out. And that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel for more card making and paper crafting inspiration. As always, thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.